Hey guys, we're here from the Hot Pot Talk Show and I'm one of your hosts, Nunu. And I'm DJ Daikiri. And we are here today with our friends and guests. Um, Bill Brower from the UK and Mongolia. Okay, I go by the name Ben Sevenfold, West Africa, Ghana, club mix. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys so much for being on the show. Now, um, we thought you guys were going to be the best in it for this episode because we are talking about nightlife in China. Okay? Yeah, it's a big topic. Yeah, yeah. it's a very topic. big topic. And we got the best people because we've got Social Butterfly, we've got one of the best promoters, <laughs> one of the best promoters, <laughs> event organizer, prom um, promoter, PR manager, and we have. Of course. <laughs> DJ Daikiri. Yeah, I yeah. have a lot to say. <laughs> Who has a lot to say? There. I'm <laughs> telling you. So do you know where I wanted to start, yeah? Because obviously I told you guys, didn't it? Like, there's a lot of people outside of China. Right. And even some people like inside of China that don't really know what's going on on the scene, nightlife scene. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. when it comes to our expat communities and what we do. Mm. So I want you guys to like, what do you guys think is the general like kind of um, top five, let's say top five differences between Nightlife scene in China compared to like your hometown, like yeah. UK, Ghana, or different countries. Or you've been anywhere in. you were. Russia yeah, as well. Like Russia could be also included. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I must say the first thing would be the whole foreigner getting inside a nightclub for free. Yeah, first mm. thing. That's like, true. It's one of the things that amazes me so much. Even though I work in the club, it still amazes me. So yeah. much. But explain the process. <laughs> Ex explain the process. Okay, okay. Since I'm a PR, I'll do a little bit. Of hey, PR hey, give us background. So basically, yeah. what we do in club mix is um, we offer foreigners a bit of advantage over the citizens, mm -hmm. which are Chinese. Mm -hmm. What we do, <laughs> what we do for foreigners, uh, because we believe that with a foreigner's atmosphere, a lot of Chinese also try to enjoy the club, they spend more and all that. So from the business um, idea, the more foreigners you bring into the club, the more money you make. So what we do, we give advantage to the foreigners, we offer them what we call open bar. Open bar! Open bar. <laughs> the bar is open. The bar is open, Why? you pay very little, something very little, you know, <laughs> something very little, you drink all night for free, and you get to choose from not just one liquor, like, Six to seven. You different, can have vodka. Like vodka, you can whiskey, have whiskey, whiskey gin, gin tonic, beer, beer, like everything, like practically everything, and even some shots. And, yeah. average, and Chinese cannot have it. Chinese cannot have that yeah. advantage. Yeah. Only foreigners can buy it. Yeah. yeah. So you can so, drink what you're talking like mm. open bar normally. Yeah, from what I know, it opens from like what time? Like. Nine, ten, anytime, yeah, like you anytime. Come. when <laughs> the club is open, even eight p.m. Yeah. Yo. You know, you know, Chinese people party early, so we open very early, like oh, by okay. seven thirty eight. We we we. So rolling. we got eight yeah. p.m. till whenever the the club closes. Yeah, yeah pretty whenever. much. And okay, what's the equivalent? Because obviously, people that are not like from <clears> China, so <throat> say you're talking about. 200 renminbi or what? No, no. 100. 100 renminbi. And it was 50 before. Yeah, so like a tenner basically. That's 10 pounds. 10 pounds. How many US dollars? 15? Fif Fif yeah, about 15, 15 USD. 15, 18 yeah. USD I would say, yeah. for a whole night of drinking. Jare. Yeah. Isn't that nuts? That's, that's, that's nuts. nuts. That's so crazy. that's one of them. Open yeah. bar is something open special. Bar. Open bar. Yeah. And it's, it's, it's not like that. Let's say I'll use Ghana. Yeah. I've, I've clubbed in Europe too. I was in Germany. Like it's. It's nothing like that. Mm -hmm. It's nothing like that. It's expensive. It's expensive. First expensive. of all, you're yeah. trying yeah. to get in. First, first of all, they check it. You gonna um, first of all, yeah. no. first of all, okay, I'll use my homeland, Ghana. Like Ghana, in terms of um, outfit, is very key. If you have to go to a club dress in code. Ghana, I say dress, dress code. code. Yeah, everywhere yeah, in, in the UK, in so London, yeah, definitely. And completely. Like, that. Yeah. like sometimes I'm a PR. Yeah. Of, of course, I want people to come to a club, but sometimes I see guests coming on my guests and like, and they come in flip flops. I wish I could turn you away. You know what I mean? They wear flip flops. You know, like shorts, you know, like, like it's, it's like it's so free for foreigners. Yeah. Like everything is literally free. People who couldn't even club in their home countries are here they in China. Tell me it's free. I, I it's used free. to. Be, I used to <laughs> at first, yeah, I was shocked after I liked it, but then I keep it's like a love and hate relationship. With yeah, that. I, I love it. I'm like, hmm, this is summer. Because Everyone's on the days it's you hot. don't want to dress up, right? Like, oh, I know exactly. I can just yeah, right. Casual. Whatever. I can just go from work, go home, have a shower, pop out, and set. You know. Like yeah, yeah, right. And you end up in a club somehow. They can literally come out like they're in their room. They're in their homes. Yeah. Yeah. Pajamas. Some of us feel. Some of us feel a bit disrespected. Like, because yeah. you wear your best and you come in somebody's in yeah. his worst. Yes, like, yes, hey. yes. Yeah. Like, yeah, that's a good point. You know, and on a serious it's note, true. it's more kind of like clubs want to keep a certain level, yeah, yeah. of like mm -hmm. people that are coming in and you guys mm -hmm. that work in clubs mm -hmm. as well. You want to keep a, a, a certain kind of 
level to your club yeah. in it you don't want it to be like anyone comes mm -hmm. and say people that come from abroad and it's just holiday right and they come into say mixed club mm -hmm. and they see certain random people dressed anyhow they're thinking like wow what type of club is this yeah, you know yeah what I mean? exactly yeah, and then from a customer point of view exactly. when we go out mm. we want to obviously look good we wear our best clothes and i see a girl getting in with some crusty clothes i'm like what well, hold on a second yeah right yeah. so it's there two levels but, but we can appreciate well. love yeah. and hate relationships. i remember like yeah, yeah love yeah. and hate relationship before like there's be stewardess from the aeroflot from russian airlines right mm. and they used to come to the airport and they, they were staying here for like three or four days and then Vix used to you know, promote that mm. back then, like in 2011 and 12. Damn. And then we used to bring the air steward, you know, the stewardesses, even pilots came sometimes, you know, because they were really? here for a few days, yeah. And then they came and they were all dressed the best. Looking good. Mm. And then they see the locals and the local foreigners too, right? Yeah. And there's like, what's going on here? And I'm like, they're confused. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You didn't tell me about this. <laughs> this is a love and hate relationship. You're going to yeah. unite the two. When you come back here again, you know what's going on. Yeah. <laughs> but, but I think with that point, I think with the yeah. locals, the Chinese locals, I think they even dress better they, than the yeah, local yeah, foreigners. Yeah, 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 yeah. They do. Like, they they do. do. Say that like, again. Let them hear you. Let them hear you. The local people, That's true. the local Chinese, they, local they dress Chinese better too. than the local foreigners. They I don't know Chinese. if that makes them local foreigners. but like, <laughs> Yeah. Do you realise that foreigners in China, yeah. they party four to five days a week. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot of partying. That's a lot of clothes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so that's, so that's, that's why so they're that's just getting like, eh, okay, let me wear it. <laughs> what what I wake up with, I'm going to wear the two shots. That's yeah, a lot of clothes. Right. Like, like how it's it's crazy to put four to five days a week. Yeah. I see some people like that's on a full -time Monday. Job. On <laughs> that's a full time <laughs> job. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. You should get you should get paid for that. Where, right? I tell them you know, come and work for me. Yeah. Come and be a PR. Exactly, exactly right. right. Yeah. Be here so much. You know. I, I know you. The there, same was, thing there was this time. By yeah. Get paid for <laughs> yeah. There was this time we went on a break. And <laughs> we resumed, and a lot of people didn't know about it because, like, yeah. Yeah. And there were some people who actually came to the club on that day that we resumed because we even got the information as workers on that day. Yeah. And we didn't even people promote People were ready. It. And they were already I there. was there now. Like, <laughs> I was yeah. ready for you now. Ah, we have been waiting outside. All like, the time you were closed. Like, how yeah, did you yeah, know? Yeah, yeah. How did you know? <laughs> All right, so we've got yeah. open bar. Yeah. We've got bar. dress code. Dress, dress code. code. What else? D, 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 I know you got a lot to say on this topic. There's a lot. How long? Of, Wait, yeah. you need to give background though because you know sometimes, yeah, when you... When you when you say things, people don't understand how long because you'd be looking like a baby as well sometimes. Mm. How long you've been in the game? Yeah. Okay, so I've been in China for nine years, and uh, I've been DJing in Beijing for five years, mm -hmm. and in club mix for three. So there's a lot I gotta say, but <laughs> 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 the show is that long. I was waiting for that part. I was waiting for that yeah. part. It's well, a lot to say. say from the, Five like, years. From the DJ point of view, mm. like, yeah. the crowd is so mixed. Mm. Mm. Yeah. It's like, we gotta please Latinos, Europeans, <laughs> Americans, <laughs> Africans, <laughs> Russians, you know, in one place. In one place We're gonna please imagine. them all, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. It's not that, for example, in America, it's pretty much mixed crowd, but they still all listen like American music. Sure. Right? Yeah. 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 In, in China, like you gotta please everyone, everyone yeah. you know. Yeah. So Latin Latino music, you gotta play a bit of dance or popular music. Yeah. You gotta play Main, mainstream, yeah, EDM, yeah. It's like yeah. And then EDM the, pop, right. like dance or high hip hop, chop, like yeah, everything. Yeah, right. mm. So, but there is a lot to say from a DJ point of view. What about customer point? We're gonna keep for a DJ mm -hmm. like edition. Yeah, like we're gonna have episode. the DJ. Episode. Yeah, yeah. So, it needs a separate episode, um, definitely. About customers, <laughs> well, there. Fucking spoiled, I guess. <laughs> yeah, super spoiled. So yeah, spoiled. Yeah. First of all, it's like with drinks and all that, some yeah. people already think mm. when back home you are like God knows who. Yeah. <laughs> like, you know? And here you come, you're some charity. Oh, VIP. Or like VIP, you like, you know, yeah. like doing all that and acting <laughs> all that. And then you come to the stage, which is actually very accessible for people to reach to a DJ, like somehow. Yeah, I don't know, it's you're really okay, close. This is what you're we really need close to, explain to them. For people that are outside of China, yeah. a lot of clubs here, in front of the DJ stage, um, there is a stage, yeah. <laughs> technically. Yeah, yeah, and and stage. There's, people can go on there, dance, and have fun. Mm -hmm. And it actually makes the atmosphere live it sometimes. Really, it really does. Make but a huge for difference. you guys uh, that work like, as DJs, like is annoying. Like it's so low, <laughs> so people can easily actually, like, yeah. You're not so elevated up yeah, here. Yeah. Yeah. So people always come with these like random requests, like with the phone, like to my face, and I'm like, I'm working, and they're like, hello, like, hello. literally, yeah. I, the other time when I was with you, and they're literally like, she's there spinning, like, scrap, <laughs> people, hello, hello, 
Is that like showing the phone? Yeah. I said, yeah. mm-mm. Mm-hmm. That's you true. That we are spoiled. Yeah. yeah, and yeah. So. I don't know if that's the new foreigners or the old ones, because the old ones always did that, you know, and the Chinese too. But the new ones have to learn from the old people? Or is it just is, is a thing that happens thing is, here, you know? The thing is, is that we know as old Chinese foreigners or old Chinese expats that we can get yeah. away with certain things. But sometimes we know the place, the time and exactly. stuff. Exactly. If I'm know a DJ, I'm friends with a DJ, I know that, oh, I can maybe holler at Dasha, mm. holler send at Daikiri, send a message, no holler at her yeah, when she's yeah. at the bar and everything. In theory, yeah. promoters are key in China, in Beijing. There's too many people. <clears throat> Clubs are huge. That's one thing for people that are mm. not in China. You do not understand the size of clubs in huge. China. For example, I would say in London, small. you've got like yeah. a Ministry of Sound yeah, or whatever, that's huge. yeah? Oh, yeah, yeah, That's right. huge, that but huge. that's like a, a concert place, Exactly. Yeah? But yeah. on here, let's be honest, most clubs are almost the same size, and that's just a club. This is a club, that's exactly, a club. exactly, right? So it's yeah. almost like an entertainment venue, not just a club, it's yeah. an entertainment venue on a different scale. Mm, it's, it's a huge so scale. there's a lot of people to handle, so promoters are key, and the difference in their roles is back home, I would say promoters kind of... You know, they're selling the night to you, they give you your tickets or whatever it is, and you get in X, Y, Z. They don't look after you past that stage. Yeah. Yeah. In China, good promoters break their backs for their customers. Yeah. That, I know, is number That's one. true. Till yeah. the end of the night, even during the week. <laughs> Yours, we communicate with us. Are you coming? Blah, blah, blah. What do you need? Da, da, da. You guys learn our habits. You know what we want. People that get tables and stuff, like... You guys know already, like what we like, what tables we like. Mm. Then you keep tabs yeah. on it, so that's amazing. If you're a PR, you're mm. dealing with, like you said, not just a few people. Mm. Look at how big a club is. Just For me, a lot I have and different. People. How many people different on average people. is in fills up? Mix, mix um, more than one thousand. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. In the bathroom. Yeah. 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 That's a concert. You that's do. Yeah, that's a concert. Than pretty than much. That is a concert. At one time. At one time. Yeah. At one time. Yeah. Because yeah. 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 I remember, like back in 2010 and 11, we from my university, UIBE, right? We used to bring um, bus loads of students, mm. two yeah. or three buses. We filled them up, you know. Mm. And that's just that's that one night, but then that is the other half of the night as well. Exactly. And yeah, and, and and the complaint day, maybe a bus is late because of traffic, mm-hmm. then they can't it's get not in. Our fault, ben. So it's not like your fault. It's not like anyone's fault. It could be the traffic, but there's a certain time limit. But now mm. I think things have changed. But no, still, they haven't. it's but not having. Okay, the, fair the, enough. The thing is, we we are dealing with a lot of people, and a lot of different people. Yeah, you know, and we have time limits. Mm. And uh, at the end of the day, too, we don't only get the people into the club. Like you said, we take care of them. Yeah, exactly. For yeah. me, for instance, so, um, on a Friday, Saturday, which is our busiest night in the club, like I talk to literally more than five hundred people. That's mad, dude. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. crazy. That's absolutely from, mad. From 12 noon, because people text you that early. That's people, what I'm and saying. Yeah. People and like, how many you tables like, you just like have? Like, <laughs> like, I see Ben right like, It's crazy. Like, it's crazy. Like, I'm not like. That's why I feel privileged when I see Ben with my own two eyes, though. I feel privileged. <laughs> yeah. Sometimes I don't even realize before I realize. You don't have the time. <laughs> I miss that section. Yeah, yeah, right. <laughs> yes, it's it's yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you know, we just yeah. started. But the thing is, is the numbers we work with. I, for instance, I have grouped my um, customers into different sections. Mm. That's what I do to help me. What mm. I have people that are loyal. And first of all, let me say this before I continue. Uh, Testimony. <laughs> foreign <laughs> guests um, of nightclubs are not loyal. Because um, they, they don't care about you. All they want to do is just to have fun. So, so they, they hop from, from different PRs, PRs to different to PRs. It's true. And for, for yeah. us, for me, I, I take my work very personal. So sometimes yeah. it hurts. But yeah. wait, disclaimer, disclaimer, <laughs> disclaimer, disclaimer. Yeah. And I'm not biased. I'm sure a lot of people mm-hmm. can speak to this. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You're talking from a perspective of a good PR, mm-hmm. by the way. Mm-hmm. Just let's make yeah. that clear. Yeah. Yeah. So when you say things like, <laughs> we move from one promoter to the other mm. because my old promoter was shit, bruv, and I need to find a new one. So when I hear Ben, bro, yeah. Ben's treating you like this, right? I need to yeah. hop onto that. You get it? Yeah. Because I you. I, you have to, it's kind of like the chicken or the egg. Which one yeah. came first? Yeah. Because it's like, if my PR I've been dealing with, because that's the only PR I knew, mm-hmm. I deal with it. Mm-hmm. But once yeah. I know that, hold on a second, there's yeah. an even better PR mm-hmm. that can look after me, mm-hmm. I'm going to want to be your customer. But then, mm-hmm. as you said, the problem lies where you know you're a good PR. You've got lots of customers, yet one of your so-called loyal customers has turned their back mm, on you all. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? I hear that. I hear the thing that. is, I don't think they're really bad PRs. I just think that mm. the numbers we deal with are just mm. sometimes overwhelming. We, yeah. We try our best. <laughs> I wouldn't want to say a bad PR because, you know, I, I can't judge other people. I'm not, I, you, you, claim, you claim, you claim, you claim I'm good, but 
I see somebody else, I'm the worst. It's true. <laughs> you know, it's true. People hate right. me. Like, of course, it's down to perception. It's always down to yeah, perception. People, yeah, it's like, about perception. Yeah. People yeah. have their own mindset about you. But you they know don't care I think, what you do for them. Like, I think, I literally think the PR is like, and the foreign workers in China and the clubs, they pick that service like um, level of like giving the service from Chinese people. Mm -hmm. Like, they don't do know, they don't learn it from anywhere else. It's true, you're you know, right, the they're Chinese, learning it like, from you here. You see the Chinese Fuyans, which is like where in Chinese, yeah. they're like, they're there to pour your drink, mm -hmm. they're there like, mm -hmm. to please you, yeah. like, you know, yeah. so I think mm -hmm. like, I haven't seen anywhere like, No one does that. No like, one in, like, no. in other countries in the UK, does that. No. You have to have, no, it's, it's really, a difference. Yeah, exactly. Promoters, yeah. which most of the time, by the way, Stand outside the club. Outside they do the club. outside the club. And then the club. inside the club, you have hostess. Exactly. And yeah. people that host you, right? Exactly, yeah. Which are like different level waiters. So instead of having just bar, that you have the bartenders, then you have waiters that actually come and serve exactly. you and communicate with you and mm -hmm. blah, blah. Then you have hostesses. Do you yeah. know what I mean? That they keep you company. Keep you order. company. Whereas yeah, in Beijing, do we don't have that. Nah. The yeah, PRs, yeah. i.e., promoters, mm -hmm. do everything. And yeah. that's why actually the word. Promote, I think that's the difference. It's like, yep. as you said, you're overstretched, plus you're doing too much, mm. and there's not different levels to it. So mm. you don't have PRs that just handle guest lists and mm. then the PRs that handle the customers indoors. Mm. And you guys are doing every, and sailors, and tables. Yeah. everyone does you everything. You handle everything. Yeah, yeah so everything. I do get that. Don't get me wrong. Mm. But yeah. just like everything, yeah, some people are just not good at their job. <laughs> and unfortunately, here, the, this is the first mistake people do when it comes just to close the PR thing mm. off is that. Mm. Some people, no matter what job we do, yeah, you, sometimes you're just not good at it. Yeah. And here, how do you get your job as a PR? First off, how many people you know? You just know, because yes. I'm popular? Yeah, popularity. Take me, for example. I know a lot of people, yeah. right? Yeah. But anybody that knows me well enough says... Who? But she doesn't like people. Though. I don't like people. <laughs> I'll right, be yeah. the worst PR. <laughs> yeah. I might know people. Yeah. I'm one of the most anti-social, social people. That's what mm. they all say to me. Yeah. Like, So I might not be great. In, on paper, mm. I look good. Yeah. But in real life, when you put me there, you're going to fire me. Yeah. That's the truth. Yeah, isn't isn't it? That's isn't the truth. truth. You're, you're right about yeah. that. Like, um, the, job, the job is so easy to get that people, don't, people who actually don't deserve it, get it. Get it. Oh. Just because, so they like you dilute said, the system. You know, that's yeah. how I put it. But for me, like, this thing is something I've been doing, like, for so long. <laughs> for and so long. you like, like doing, doing it, that. you love doing like, it. Like, I've been doing nightlife for so long. So... It's like home to me. Yeah. You know, like I, I love what I do and <laughs> <laughs> I appreciate the song. I hear that. Like I, I hear that. So yeah. so there's a difference. People do it for the money, others do, it for, do it for the passion and all that. Like so any would, job to be fair. Like, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like exactly. any job. Yeah. Like any job. From a customer though, what, what are we saying? give one more in it and then we're gonna hop sure. on to the next thing. From a customer point of view. Yeah. What's the difference? What's the biggest because you travel a lot, right. Bill. Yeah. You travel a lot. Mm. If you see this guy's WeChat, yeah, mm. and for everyone that's listening, WeChat is like um, Instagram, Facebook, and everything, all the social networking put together. <laughs> together. One. Yeah. Yeah. So we can post pictures and everything, so we know what Bill be up to, okay? <laughs> you keep traveling, you party a lot, um, you work hard, but you party hard as well. Yeah. So, what's like, what would you say is the distinctive difference? Um, in Cust customer wise, in yeah. Beijing, yeah? I'd say it depends if which way you go to, obviously, mm -hmm. and also the weather does count as well here. Oh, yeah. Summertime and winter time, it's different. massive difference of what you get mm -hmm. in the city, um, like in all places, obviously. But Beijing, though, because of all its um, like PRs and free drinks and entrance fees is free, guest lists, etc. Right? Mm -hmm. When you add it up with the weather in the summer, you get a huge different experience with pool parties, massive events going on here right now. And when you have all that together with with, with really good music and good people and a good crowd, it's lit. Yeah, it's lit, and you kind of overcome the customer side of point of view. You kind yeah, of like, yeah, you yeah. kind of brush over the bad bits. Yeah, yeah. Fuck it, I've had a yeah, good night. Yeah, <laughs> like you know, that was shit, but it was alright in the end. But when you're abroad, yeah. and you paid lots of money. Yes. Oh, that. Oh no, 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 no. That's a huge difference. Yeah, when you're abroad, and then you, uh, you can be turned off completely from places. You no, know? mm -hmm. mm, definitely. But then, does that mean that basically customer service is abroad? It's kind of seen. We hold it in high regard because we know we're paying so much. Exactly. And we have to look our best. We, dress code has to be on point. Exactly. Money. There's if a you standard. Get, yeah. There's a standard. Yeah. Like, yeah. I'm not going to lie. Like, Definitely. I know here. Even in Hong Kong, like, it's a standard. You know? Oh, and, 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 and Hong you Kong got, is dressed completely I know, right? It's different. And it's only a three hour flight from here down south to mm. Hong Kong, and, it, and it's a completely different vibe. It's like London. Ah. I always say Hong Kong is like a mixture of. Hong Kong is a mixture of London, Shanghai, and Beijing yeah, in one place. Is it is a fusion, yeah, right? Yeah. It's more like London, though, in terms of prices and yeah, stuff yeah. and dress code. But the vibe, though, can be just as good. But 
You still can't beat mainland, do you? Can't, you can't beat Beijing. Or can't. We can't beat Beijing. Shanghai is also a different story. Beijing. Not going to say Shanghai. No. <laughs> yeah. With Beijing, it's like no matter how much money you earn, be you a student, mm. um, you're just a tourist, mm -hmm. you're here on a semester exchange, or you're working, you're a professional person, there's always something to do in nightlife scene that you're going to enjoy. Yeah. Whether you have 200 quai, which is what, $15 about, or whatever yeah, it yeah, is. Yeah, it's about like 20, or 23 dollars. Or you can yeah. blow 5,000, which <laughs> is about, you know, just what, 1K, 1,000 US dollars or whatever it is. Yeah. You will find a place to have fun. That yeah. is the difference between Beijing mm. and other cities, I feel. Mm. Isn't it? Yeah. yeah, pretty much for free, I'd say, here. Yeah. Yeah. So, let me go a little bit deeper and throw some shade about... <laughs> How people approach each other in a in Beijing like, like clubs. Just yesterday, like why I mentioned, just yesterday happened to me. It was crazy. Like I was passing by, I was um, trying to find my way to the bar, right? Yeah. And then there is a guy who stops like right in front of me and mm -hmm. doesn't let me to pass. So I'm trying to find my way around, and he just like grabbed my hand and slapped my ass. <laughs> oh, it just like. <laughs> You know how loud music in the club. I could hear the slap. <laughs> it went through the bass line. I it just out, like, and out, I, it just took real. me. For me, it was slow motion because so, I just like, I just he tore was it out. And I already see my friends like jumping and grabbing mm. him like in a security cam. And like, at least like, you know, if when security came, like I straight away, I said, I like, just take this guy out of the club. Right? Yeah, yeah. Mm. But I have this power in the club because yeah. like the security knows me. I'm not going to just do whatever. Have, yeah. Yeah. But yeah. the people who just are customers, yeah. they're yeah. like, As what do they do? Just a guest. Like a just a guest. Yeah, just what yeah. they do? Mm. So just let it pass. It's so easy, you know, like, yeah. and it's not the first time, you know, the mm. guys, like the way I'm talking from the, a girl, like your yeah. point, right? right. Like yeah. the way guys approach us in the club it's yeah. so inappropriate it's leave, hey babe you? how you doing <laughs> yeah, it's a bit hand, hands do you on. know me hands on. exactly it's very but hands I think on it's, yeah. in fact everywhere has the same type of i i would like to call it a problem yeah but i think here is under a magnifying glass mm -hmm. in a way mm -hmm. everything is yeah. polarized by the way mm -hmm. in beijing we're all different types of people in mm -hmm. one place mm -hmm. yes. different cultures different cultures thrown in one very small place yeah. compared to the rest of the world right yeah, yeah. so the certain levels of respect or sometimes just what people will tolerate is different it's different yeah. and one thing we get also and this doesn't only apply to nightlife in general in social settings is that Especially foreigners, mm -hmm. okay, allow me to say this, as we already said, we're already spoiled, so that's number one. Mm -hmm. yeah. But when it came, <clears throat> comes to, like, men, there's an elevation men get in China. Yeah. It's like, oh. if you're good-looking or you're something, something, you got small money or something, you're elevated. And then you get those blurred lines where situations can happen like that because I'm guessing this guy thought he was so what? He's a top yeah, guy. Yeah, yeah he's, he's a top guy. Yeah, with the open bar bracelet. <laughs> with the open <laughs> yeah, bar bracelet. You can't even buy bottles. Beijing. You can't buy bottles. Beijing. 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 This one yeah, is Beijing. Only in Beijing. Only in Beijing can only you be Beijing. a open bar. Only in Beijing. You can't even buy yeah. bottles. Who's the, who's the bottle of beer? Most yeah. pretty girls are with the broke niggas. <laughs> Pretty much, yeah, man. Yeah. No, for real, though. For real. We've seen, really what, we've seen it happening in other countries yeah. and we know what we're talking about. Yeah. Like, it's only in Beijing where the flies girls. Yeah. How would the why? I ladies? don't know why, though. I know, yeah. right? This is why we need about our oh, guys. Yeah. <laughs> guys, we're going into a certain territory. I already said to you guys, we need a part two, a part three, a part four, we'll a part five. We'll yeah. 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 But one thing I want to end this on here mm. is that we're so different yet so similar to mm. everywhere else in the world, yeah. yeah? Yeah. And I think one of the <clears throat> amazing things about Beijing is that no matter who you are, no mm. matter what scene you like, if you like alternative music, if you're here just for a couple of days, you want to go to a nice swanky bar with your mm. girlfriend, you're here on a romantic trip, or you're a student with not that much money, mm. you're a professional person that works nine to five, Monday to Friday, and you want to let your hair down, there is a place for everyone. Everybody. Everyone. everyone. So we have this game, right, <laughs> called the Hot Pot Challenge. Yeah. Right? And I kind of made this up, actually, yesterday for you guys. <laughs> so seeing as this is the nightlife segment, mm -hmm. um, I've got little kind of scenarios or phrases in here mm -hmm. that revolve around nightlife in okay. China. Mm -hmm. What I want you guys to do is to pick one out each. Mm -hmm. And we have signs, OK? Yeah, now, this game is called Trash or treasure. treasure. Okay. Now, trash means if you pick something out, 
And you don't like and it. And you don't like it, it's trash. You don't want to keep it. It's going in the bin. Yeah. It's yeah. rubbish. Mm -hmm. okay. But if it's treasure, it's you, 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 in <laughs> fact, so you want to take it home <laughs> in your yeah. suitcase. Oh, that that's was so my cute. drawing attempt. Yeah, my drawing. Smiley face. I, I tried to draw, guys, and that's my angry face. You did yeah. good. You did yeah, good. I did that. I tried. Good. I tried. Good. I, I didn't pass him art. I did <laughs> So um, well, let's start with our guest, though. Um, Brugo. Let's go for it. All right, let's go. Pick please. one. Here we go. And I'm gonna do read it out, and yeah. then we'll do uh, a count of Ooh, three. Three, yeah, yeah, a count of All three, right. and then we show. We decide quickly and show. Ooh, okay, Ooh. so basically it was K KTV. Wait, first, what's KTV? KTV is karaoke television. So a lot of Chinese go to this little bar with a, in a karaoke set. They sing their favorite songs. Mm. They drink a lot, and that's what happens, really. Mm. But it's very fun if you haven't done it. And we've all been there. Yeah. 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 So I would say treasure definitely all the way. Treasure. Treasure for me. Yeah. <laughs> oh. Take a shot. By the way, if you are the odd one out, mm. meaning that seen us us three, we did treasure, right? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we did treasure. treasure. You're the odd one out. Why is it trash? Yeah. I'm gonna explain why because it's um, it's fun. Don't get me wrong. Like we have karaoke yeah. in Russia, it's really popular as well. Oh, but yeah, Russia, yeah. Yeah, but. It's a tradition which forced for people, for Chinese people, I'm talking about you, who doesn't want to do that. You know what I mean? Yeah. For example, you have a successful deal, you have a party of the office, mm. you must go there, you oh. must drink until you like cannot move, you finish, you, finished. Yeah. you, finish, yeah, yeah. you know, yeah. so like you must do that, you're forced to do that, you yeah. know. Yeah. That's why I say it's like, I don't really like this part it's but the karaoke is fun like yeah. i like it as well so. just the kind of the culture that has been built around yeah. it yeah. yes yeah. yes i'm not talking about kitty girls and whatever oh that's yeah going yeah, on yeah in there, no. but like <laughs> it's that's another right. that's, a yeah. that's, another, that's another that's another show yeah because <laughs> yeah. we need to explain so, more about kitty actually because yeah, that's, we do, that's, 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 so that's, that's a really big one that's my really drink good. we haven't like forgotten that. that drink you are the last one ktv why didn't we mention that we're gonna have to talk about it yeah that's a big one as well Baijiu, oh. um, Baijiu, which is Chinese oh, vodka. Chinese vodka, yeah. basically, a very strong. Yeah, it's made a out cheap of one and expensive, expensive one. one. Well. And yeah. expensive can hit like um, twenty thousand US dollars. Right. To be fair, um, Baijiu is made out of aniseed. If anybody knows what that is, it's mm -hmm. aniseed. It's very special tasting. That's all I'm gonna say. And I'm gonna say trash. Oh, I would say so as well. Oh, look at that! It's a, <laughs> <laughs> I'm Russian. Yeah, I'm Russian. Russian. Yeah. No, no, special album. No, 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 but that, 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 that shit tastes real. I don't know I'm about, Russian. I don't know yeah. the expensive one, but. Yeah. Actually, once Baijo saved my life, I'm going to tell you how oh, it happened. Okay. So, I had a, a horrible food poison here. Like, nothing helped. I was like down for three days, four days, mm. medicine, and nothing helped. I was just like once all the time. My mom, which, yeah. who is. You, Siberian, Thank your you, sister. Mama. Mom is always the best. Mom, like yeah. a person. So she said, like we do in Russia. Yes. Vodka is the best medicine. Cure, yeah. Medicine and cure for everything. Yeah. So what I did, I just mix Baito with water so it doesn't, like, I don't get yeah. drunk. Yeah. 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 But that's Straight what away. you did that was good. Uh -huh. You mixed it with and water. And I mixed okay. it a little, just a little yeah. bit of water, you know, yeah. so I could, you know, I don't get drunk too fast. And mm. I was drinking the whole day. Next day, I woke up perfectly fine. Okay, yeah. Because it's mm. pure, right? Yeah, it's... Okay, that's, that's a good thing we need bacteria. to explain. I know, so I was going to... Should have said, uh, yeah, Mongolians also drink a lot of vodka as well. But I just thought the that maybe it's the bad stuff we tried. Yeah, <laughs> Baiju can be, yeah. Yeah, so yeah. many varieties. Go, pick. Oh. But we'll talk about Baiju more. Yeah, we do. But I don't like it. I didn't like it at first, I didn't like it. VIP tables and treatment. Oh, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Treasure. we all agree on that. Yeah. I love that. I love that. <laughs> yes. I so, so. You really, on a budget of like, even one bottle, you buy one bottle mm -hmm. and a couple of spirits. Yeah. You see, you, you can get a sofa yeah, table. One bottle and a couple like of uh, sodas or, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Like a and you... Yeah. Yeah, and you can like feel like yeah. so VIP, you know, on a budget of like yeah. 100 dollars Y'all know that's where I am. <laughs> I, I, yeah. Yeah, I love, we love this. Okay, <laughs> we love it too. Definitely all the way. Okay. Dress code. Dress code. <laughs> I don't even need to change. I'm going to say treasure. that is definitely treasure. We are treasure. Uh, I mean, like, from what side? Okay, okay. Let, let me go because okay. I, I wrote this one. Okay. I mean, yeah. good. But we're free that, to choose. No, that you set a dress code. 
that a dress code is set as in you need to look like this. Okay, oh, like let's course. say Halloween. Yeah, 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 dress code. Yeah, 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 oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, yeah. I should have yeah. elaborated. When I say, <laughs> for, uh, like at home, if we write dress code X Y Z, we're not gonna say dress code, dress like shit. Like yeah. we mean there's yeah. a theme, yeah. or you need to look up. It's a suit and tie, whatever it is. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, setting a criteria for dress, and everybody mm -hmm. conforms yeah, to that. That one, yeah. everybody. Definitely everybody has a treasure. treasure. Go on then. Go. You next. Go for it. Um, right. <clears throat> I'm drinking and I shouldn't even be out. Guest list. This is going to be hard. This is a one, two, it's three. It's a 50, 50 ah. uh, Actually, no, I'll treasure it. Treasure it. Treasure it. It's okay, you explain. <clears throat> it's my job, so I'll treasure yeah, it. Yeah, definitely, I understand that. Well, <laughs> guest list, like I said, I categorize people that come on my guest list. Mm -hmm. I have because you're a good people. PR. <laughs> I have people who come to the club to spend a lot. So if those people are on my guest list, of course, like I treasure them. They're, they're special people to me. Yeah. People come spend money. But that's what I'm people. saying, like, because I think guest list should be as a, for a special guests mm -hmm. who can go without, like, staying in line, mm -hmm. who have a privilege, who's spending mm -hmm. money, who is a regular customer. Mm -hmm. But in China, guest list... It's mixed. Though. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. I was just really about, mixed. I was about to interrupt you and go, please, let's mm -hmm. explain what the whole guest list culture in China. in China because it's completely different mm -hmm. to the whole rest of the world. In fact, the whole rest of the, 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 the universe. The universe. <laughs> it's quantity over quality here. Right. Exactly. Yes, yes. You yeah. categorize because you understand <clears throat> that mm -hmm. the reason for having a guest list is that you have your VIP clients, you have your this, that, mm -hmm. that, so I know what I need mm -hmm. to do for yeah. each and every one of them. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Whereas guest list here actually means who gets their name on a list before mm -hmm. a certain time, time. right? Yeah. right? Yeah, it doesn't yeah. matter what you're paying. Definitely Whereas not. guest list in the West yes. means membership. Exactly. It's, it's a certain yeah, type it's of membership. membership. It's Definitely. You're getting it's a special, table yeah. or you're yeah. special, yeah. So you, you, you go often and you know, exactly. you're well-known. Yeah. You go. <clears throat> oh. oh, by the way, that's the empty paper. Mm -hmm. No worries. Clubs. <laughs> <laughs> Clubs that stay open till 7 a.m., 8 a.m. in Done the it. morning, uh, uh, or, or uh, even more, maybe 9 a.m., 2 a.m., 10 a.m., 10 a.m., we are, we are trying to go to work, and, and it's open. It's true. <laughs> I still be Complete. selling. <laughs> <laughs> yes. You see, from the perspective That's how of I know. Look, yeah. You see, Ben Sevenfold, the, the loyalty yeah. is real. Yes, it is real. I still be selling at what that do time, you, so from a, from a Customer perspective. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Why, why, would, why would you do? Why, like, why? why do you want to go home? That's the main thing. Whoa. Why do you want to go home? Beijing is so lit. Exactly. <laughs> it's so lit. You just don't want to. You don't want to go home. Basically. You you go out. You go out, and you don't want to go home. Mm. <laughs> Simple as that. I mean, Lantern is a great place, mm. and it's open to nine or ten a.m. and it's it's really crazy yeah. and it, and I usually surprise it's daytime and it's the next day and you're still out there like doing stuff. Yeah. You can stay you can stay in Dubai because by three a.m. you gotta go. The yeah, but same as Australia, Australia. Australia. Yeah. Hong Kong, Australia. The pop will, yeah. will be in the club. That's actually, yeah. the, the am I the am I allowed inside the, the treasure club? That, right? I might I might yeah. want to change me because from a customer point of view, mm. that's brilliant. Three. Gambe. Oof. What is gambe? Yeah. The gambe it's um. The way Chinese, yeah, is the cheers and bottom up. Is the way Chinese say when they cheers, when they say gambe, you have to down your glass. You have to finish it. The whole drink. Doesn't yeah, matter if no. it's. <laughs> we'll do it after, though. After, we'll yeah. do it after. Right. So, we'll show the what gambe is. Yeah, we'll show what gambe is. Let's try it. Um, <laughs> One, two, three. Definitely treasure that, I think. Oh, uh, yay! <laughs> yes, I mean, a true alcoholic. This is true alcoholic. Yeah, it's it's really fun. Really it's fun. It's, it's really fun. fun. It's, it's really fun. fun. You know, it's like you know? you're forced to do something. You know, yeah. Stuff. Yeah, and the way foreigners who pick is so quick. Yeah. Like, so yeah. we're like, come back, come back. Do you, know, do you remember the, the glass thing as well? We're going to show them as well. The, the, the way they hierarchy that you have to always put your finger underneath it and put it as low. Lowest, lowest lowest possible. Possible. Yeah. yeah, and what I do is I just put it on the ground yeah. and then yeah. they put it on the ground. You just because <laughs> basically, <laughs> exactly, because yeah. basically this also happens in <laughs> even if you have like um, an evening out or a dinner, even professional dinner, yeah. business dinner, or you're anything. out in a club or in a bar, anything, anything. you gambe, and the level of where your glass is is technically your rank. Your rank. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So if you're, if you're the position. boss, your glass should be higher, higher than everybody definitely. else. Yeah. And it's a respect thing, but, you know, we'll delve into that deeper next yeah. time. So go ahead. Okay. Definitely. <clears throat> themed nights. 
themed nights. Okay. I have mixed feelings. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do. I don't do. know what to do with that. Do but I will say a treasure. I, say. I feel like we need to work harder at it, but yeah, I will say treasure. Just, people will say still treasure. try. People still try. With, to, yeah, because to like, you know, team. like before, now it's getting better, but yeah. before, when the, there is a theme night going on in, in the clubs, right? I remember these days. So you ah. see uh, waiters and the workers of the club, like dress and everything, yeah. but then the people, they are guests. Mm. They don't really care because yeah, they know they're see. still gonna let in. Mm. Yeah. They're still gonna go in, yeah, you know. That's a thing. Right. Oh, guest DJs. I I quite like that one. <sighs> okay. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> nah, bruv. <laughs> nah. Yeah, no, 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 don't try. No, I'm not gonna don't change try. that. No. Don't try. I want to okay. explain myself. Explain. So basically, explain. guest DJs, um, back in the day. Even now, we have the Great Wall Party in Beijing, and we have the pool parties, and, that, and that's now. But before, we had the aircraft carrier party. I don't know if you know about that. What's that about? The aircraft carrier party was amazing, and it went on for about two or three years. It's in Tianjin, which is just outside of Beijing. It's another little city. It takes about two and a half hours by bus. But you had guest DJs from the UK. He even got on bus, James. Yeah, yeah <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> we got buses from universities in Beijing all the way to Tianjin. Mm -hmm. That's how mad it was. We trans it was that lit. Our universities Which were mad. Was it? it was in 2010 and 11. Okay. And yeah. So our universities, the teachers were quite annoyed because like, it's a lot of people just leaving the university, <laughs> mm -hmm. being no trans trans transported all the way to Tianjin. To go and party. To go and party. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah, we had guest DJs. And we had guest DJs, we had drum and bass, we had dubstep stuff from the UK. <gasps> syndicate. I'm going to name drop. Syndicate was, was hey. the big... Yeah, you know Syndicate. Right. Yeah. Yeah, if I yeah, was there. Right. Well, right. you don't know if I was there, it would be different. It was different, <laughs> I yeah. There. I was there and not, you know, you know saying um, you know, I liked it, but it was amazing. And I thought that, it was an experience that I never ever had in my life. Like an aircraft carrier. The Chinese bought that from the Ukrainians ages ago. But this it's an aircraft carrier, it's a big, big ship. You have three, three floors of, of DJs all, all over the world. And it was just an amazing experience. Wait, and so the place was an actual aircraft carrier. An it was a aircraft. ship. Yeah, an aircraft. They had, they had jets. They, they had, yeah, you go online, go into the aircraft carrier.com, right? And they've got their own website. And it stopped because they 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 um, transferred that to the Great Wall Party. Mm. Oh, so that's what the Great Wall Party evolved it, from. Yeah, okay. that's where it evolved okay. from. Uh, that's a bit of history. It's a bit of history yeah, of Beijing, not nice. long ago. Yeah, it was a big event, and they were like, "Why? This is amazing!" But then they wanted to move it closer to Beijing, so they, oh, they switched it to okay, the Great to Wall. To make it easier because transferring yeah. people. Okay, I understand. It was hard. That. It was hard. So in that time, we would have all been treasure, but we're right now we're trash. Treasure. Treasure. Yeah. Yeah. People talk about music festivals. Yes. yes. The DJs they invite to China, it's yeah. like really like top DJs. You can, oh, yeah, it right. was a David Guetta like four years ago, the first grade of music festival, right. average, yeah. all this like big music, names. I should have specified that music festivals yeah. treasure, but I'm but talking yeah. about night, night clubs, night clubs, night clubs. Oh, yeah. or bars. Oh, oh, bars. All right, in that case, that was the for group, nightclubs. In yeah. that case, um, no, trash. Yeah, because, <laughs> because like, we have, like, for example, in yeah. my club, we invite some DJs from states or Europe, you know, like yeah. they come. And they play basically the same music that we do, yeah. but because they're signed with some label or they're, as they uh, always mention, like a uh, official yeah. DJ or somebody, 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 when mm. like they just play once for that person, yeah. you know, because they were available for free. But I'm not. Yeah. Anyway, so yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> you should go watch it too. But yeah, the yeah. Aircraft Carrier Party, Great Wall Party, don't forget that. It's amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do an obvious one open bar. We've talked about this already. Yeah, we have. What open bar is? What are we saying? What are we saying? Ooh. I would for the greater good, for the greater good. Mm. I will, I will trash it too. I think so too. Actually. I'll trash it. Too. I'll trash it. There is no benefit. Or just uh, change. I think maybe just change the criteria a little bit. Yeah. Just make it more expensive. A little bit. Or something. Or a little the times. The times. Yes. You know? uh, yeah. because like people drinking and, and most of the people they don't know their limits. So they just drink until they start problems, fights, they uh, yeah. sleep in the bathroom or whatever. I think you know, that's, what, like that's what actually causes problems. You give mm. people the opportunity to drink for food. Let's, let's go trip, bro. <laughs> let's right. finish the hot yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, ladies' night. Ladies' night, and I'm feeling well, I right. Think it's, it's ladies' night. Uh. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, let me try something. No, 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 no,
I was going to trash it, but because of it. Okay, let me tell you. I actually, I was going to trash it too, bro. But I'm like, okay. I was going to trash it too. And then you thought about the whole girls. girls. No, no, no. The whole girls. No, no, no. It was like, because of friends. And you go first, man. Okay. So, <laughs> trash, trash because to me, it's not anything special here. Yeah. Especially isn't. in my club, when we say ladies night, basically we have ladies all the time. So it, Exactly, in your club. In, in so. my club, uh, in my club. Uh, like Club Mix, Beijing. Yeah. Don't forget, anytime you're here. See that, drop <laughs> the plug. The plug has dropped. So yeah, yeah. Club Mix, like, we, we always have beautiful ladies, I must say. Mm. Uh, so ladies night is nothing special to me. It's, it's To me, it's just a regular night. That's why because I said That's what, exactly what I was going to say. <laughs> Let me say a difference. When I went to States, right, I was in uh, New York. First yeah. of all, to get in the club, a girl got to look fly, dress, the heels, the wig, the edging, edging. Sex, <laughs> everything. Yeah. Sex. Actually, like... It's another story, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you some first flying. of all, you gotta look like fly like you're going on your wedding or whatever, you know. <laughs> to just and you stay in the line and wait. If they think you look good enough, you they can enter. Anything. Second, everything you pay for yourself. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. It's like there is nothing like oh Special. for example, ladies like buy one, get one free mm -hmm. or anything like some like, discounts. No. You know, but here. But how you attract customers, you know, like the guys, like, not even like, or oh, this club full of like, you know, like some girls who can get some, no, but like to look, yeah. you to appreciate know, appreciate the women yeah. that so go out, that's why we have a difference, working. for example, yeah. we have an open bar, right, yeah. like the girls is a cheaper, yeah. or it's for free if you come way earlier, yeah. And the ladies' night, you get a uh, like free cocktail. Like, and, and, and you know, so in, in our club, we actually give champagne to a set of four hey! girls. Hey, yeah, a bottle, bottle of champagne, champagne. Yeah. for girls. Champagne. Four girls like, or more, you get a bottle of champagne for yeah. free. That's what we do on the ladies' night. That's what Beijing does. You see the plug. Yeah. I'm going to stop. <laughs> the plug in my stop. <laughs> this is Beijing, <laughs> this is Beijing <laughs> man. Don't get it twisted. But what I want to go into though is that we're approaching summertime, which is a very special time in China, right? Yeah. Summer, generally, for anybody that's out of China, it's about, let's say, like, end of May, mid-May. Rain stops. The sun is out. It's up. And what do we start? We start with the pool party. Hey. But we have um, one, of, one of the dream team, the dream team um, events groups right here, which is Ben, of course. And I want you to tell us about what is Dream Team Pool Party about? Because do you know what? <laughs> How do you explain okay, it? Let me just, let me just, let me just. When is it, yeah, when is it coming I, this I, year? I, I, we, um, Dream Team Pool Party is coming up this year, 2nd of June, 2018. Mm. Mm. Um, Dream Team has been doing this for the past five years, and this is like the fifth anniversary. Aww. Don't forget, uh, we started pool parties in Beijing, and we're still raining, it's still the best. Ah. If you find yourself here in summer, you should you should attend it. It's 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 an unforgettable experience. See the right salt. Here. You should you should you should witness it. And of course, we have the best DJs on board: DJ Daiki, <laughs> DJ Amin, another good DJ. Some um, of some of us and the rest are surprises. Good customers. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they've never missed from day one. So yeah, of course. But it's the best pool party, and um, this year is on. I repeat again, second June. 2nd June, don't forget, 2018. And uh, we might have two, actually, this year. Woo! So, the Woo! first one okay. is going to be... We got exclusive! <laughs> exclusive! The first, one, the first one is going to be... And this is the first time I'm telling anybody. It's only on this show, Hotpot. Okay? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> so, it's going to be two yeah. parties, two pool parties. One on 2nd June, the other one on 30th of June. Okay? So, yeah, it's going to be two pool parties in one month. It's going to be ill. You shouldn't miss it. So you guys can contact him for uh, um, tickets. Yeah, you can we're contact me. Yeah, I'm gonna. We're gonna drop all the information on YouTube. Yeah. So you can just you know, attend, and you must attend this. You pool must. Party. It's a must. It's a must. Um, yes. You're gonna have my details on uh, WeChat. That's the easiest way we communicate here in China. But of course, my phone number is also going to be Snap there just in case. Instagram, Snap have everything. All this it's Ben Sevenfold everywhere. B E N, the number seven, and F O L D. Ben hear it. Do you everywhere. hear it? Facebook. I'm going to drop, uh, remind me, yeah. I'm going to take all your contests. I'm going to drop it in the comment box. Everybody's yeah. going to hear about the Dream Team Pool Party. Yeah. It's coming up. It's going to be lit. It's going it's to be lit. It's called the Wild Wasted Wet. Hey! Wild Wasted Wet. Hey! <laughs> and it's the fifth year. So you can imagine five times, five times everything. We have five it. DJs. You have done five it right. Everything. <laughs> <laughs> what else is going on this summer, though? Okay, so we have um, UK 
dance music festival called Cream Fields. Oh, Heading yeah. over to yeah. 18 on May 12th and 13th. So if you, there will be dope DJs like Diplo, one of my favorite I DJs, Don Diablo, Alan Walker, Martin Garrix, oh, wow. and like there is a big name. Big so big if names. you guys, you can contact us, and okay. we will send hook you the you yeah, hook you up with the people who sell the tickets for this festival. I am going, going, going there. We it's are going. You know, we are going to be there. It's yeah. amazing. Yeah. Like you know, the lineup. It's crazy. So it's like it's just recent. Like the music festival that they in Guangzhou. I did it in Changsha City in China, so they're just studying and the Pitin is next stop. So I'm yeah. excited about it. I that. thought it was just rumors what I heard about Creamfields coming, but we good like we know Creamfields from the UK. Yeah. All of you guys know it is lit and we're gonna have all the ticket sellers up in the comment box in our little YouTube section below. So hit us up, get tickets, we're gonna be there. The whole hot pot people gonna be there. Our guests are gonna be there. So yeah, and but also we have um, on, Great Wall. And the Great Wall Festival as well, it's going to be happening as well. But so what's the Great Wall? Well, be, for people that don't yeah, know they don't know what it's about. The okay, Everybody the... knows the Great Wall. Well. Like, yeah. <laughs> so basically, they rent a place right next, next to, to the Great, Great Wall. Wall. Yeah. yeah, so you can, it will be 19th and 20th of June. June, right, it's correct. May, yeah. sorry, May, 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 May. This week, May. yeah, May. Yeah, it will be during the week, it's Saturday and Sunday. May is a very busy month. Yeah, so you can actually... Go camping there. They'll yeah. be providing. You can put up the tent. Yes, yes. You, can. you can go there on 19, the party whole day, then rent a Proper tent. European camping. Yeah, yeah, and then yeah, wake yeah. up next day and yeah. continue yeah, party and drinking. Yeah. So you <laughs> can also, we're, leave, we're gonna leave the information uh, where you can get a ticket, mm -hmm. a how. Mm -hmm. Like, so mm -hmm. you can contact yeah. us as well if you have more questions about that. On YouTube, Instagram, WeChat, we're gonna drop all the contact points yep. for all these parties that we mentioned on this show we want to thank you guys so so thank much you. Well, this show was lit and there's gonna be more if you want to hear more about beijing nightlife china nightlife yeah. subscribe follow us like comment like and interact <laughs> Thank you guys so, so much. Thank you, no, Bill. Thank you, Ben. Thank you, yeah. thank you, ben. Yeah, thank you so much. Cheers. Cheers. Gumbe. Gumbe. Okay, let's show you what Gumbe is. Yo. Oh, my God. Let's share. Let's share. Let's share my beer. We got that. Oh, yeah, Sherry. There you go. Okay. We gotta finish this off well. Okay, yeah, so right. this is gambe. Yeah, yeah. This is what we mean by gambe. No matter what's in your cup, you have to gambe. Yeah, pretty much. It's been Hot Pot, it's been Nunu, it's, it's been, been DJ Daiku, it's been Brie, it's been, been Sevenfold. Thank you guys so much, <laughs> we love you, tune in next time, see ya, bye. See you later, bye, peace out. <laughs>